before we start all this information came from the developer diary on Wednesday August 10th. I take the information, make it easier to understand and upload it to YouTube so that more people will know what will be in the new DLC. Unit cohesion and a little about modding. What's gonna happen? Well, I would like to tell more about the DLC, by blood alone. The cohesion parameter can be set on any root frontline order, and will affect how the unit controller places divisions across that frontline. Balanced cohesion will only successfully evaluate units that are within a defined distance from the target, distances are moddable. In practice, this results in less unit shuffling along frontlines, but should still ensure that frontlines respond to changes in size and shape. The final setting, rigid cohesion, is intended primarily for long defensive lines, and will only successfully evaluate unit positions that are within a very short distance from the target location. In practice this results in relocations only taking place to neighboring provinces, and can result in gaps being created in front lines if left unattended. The AI will make use of flexible and balanced cohesion settings depending on the ratio of divisions, front line length, but will avoid the use of rigid cohesion. Units that are not placed directly on the front line will not be subject to the same cohesion restrictions, and will make use of strategic relocation to find themselves a new place on the front line. The cohesion setting will be respected regardless of whether an order is being executed or not. Now for those who are interested in modding. The addition of these subsystems also comes with some new tools regarding units. It is now possible to iterate over unit arrays in states and countries by condition, and apply a series of effects, including the awarding of medals, history entries, and other basic parameters such as affecting organization, strength, and more. Units do not currently support storing or being stored. Predefined divisions can be set up with lists of historical commanders that they will draw from when their current commander if replaced. The visual display ranks of divisional commanders correspond to their gained experience, and are fully customizable, though confer no gameplay effect. Medals themselves can be added to the medal array based on arbitrary conditions, and support a variety of modifiers, not all of which are represented in our vanilla use cases. Name combinations can also be split from various random lists, if you have a particular panchan for randomly generated names. That's all for now, tune in next week for a second look at how modding will be after the DLC.